thank you guys for those of you who have joined me uh, this far. I turn that down. Um, who joined me today as I go through four videos of my five day challenge. I did the first one on Monday and then got really busy yesterday. And I was like, you know what? I know this. I know it's true. I just have to take um, and do all of the videos at once. I've got an appointment here in a little bit. So I had just enough time to get these done. So welcome to day five. Yay. Of the fun with time five day challenge. So we have gone through a whole bunch. If you're just joining, make sure you go back and watch them. Day one, um, I had you evaluate what you really want to do with your life and your time. Day two, we actually talked about getting a planner and corralling all of your stuff together, whether that be in a bag or whether that be in a pretty fancy organizer, whatever that looks like for you, you've got to decide for yourself. Day three, I actually had you look at your roles, the roles that you play in life. Is that, you know, are you a leader? Are you um, in the PTA? Do you volunteer for things? What roles do you have? Do they fit still with what you want in your life? Um, you know, and then if they do, awesome. If they don't, how do you uh, make them fit? Or how do you let go of those commitments? Um, and I did talk about I am a person who is a stickler for making sure you finish your commitments, but sometimes those commitments are too big and they don't fit. <laughs> and so you have to know when to let them go. Um, and then also just using that as a filter as you get new commitments and new opportunities to make sure that you're saying no when you need to say no. Um, then we talked about on day four actual time blocking and the color coding um, that is good to do that helps you to know what you're going to put into your ideal week. And today we're actually going to talk about filling in that time. Um, for me, this color coding is not necessarily telling me what I'm going to do in that time. Some of it I already know, like in my purple reflection time, I know that you know, I've got reflection time, I've got yoga on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I've got other workouts on other days of the week, so I can fill that in pretty quickly, pretty easily. I already know what that looks like. I know for my creativity time, um, usually I am picking up some kiddos and we go, um, we figure out what we're going to do. We actually figure out um, in advance what we're going to do. We have a whole thing set up, a whole system set up for that. And I know what time my business um, slots are, my coffee slots, my ministry slots, all of that. But sometimes it varies on what I do with those. So I wanna talk with you guys about that today. So if you know what it is that you are wanting to do with your life, with your time, all of it works together. You know that you're working on a budget of time. We all have the same amount of hours in a week. I believe it's 168. I keep saying that. <laughs> I know I've heard that before. I haven't actually verified that that's the actual time, but I'm pretty sure it is. So um, we're going to look at how to actually fill that in. Now, I will actually tell you that I use my monthly calendar first. So I told you I use electronic for my family. We don't use it quite as much as we used to now that my kids are driving for themselves. I don't need to know quite so much what they're doing, where they're going. I know I have a general idea. Mm. My mug. Um, but I don't keep as much track of it because I think I'd just go crazy if I had to do that. There's my husband's and mine. Ugh, we're so busy. We are quite busy. <laughs> um, so I do have, but it's there. I tend to use my monthly calendar first when it comes to scheduling things out. So I'm gonna just give you a super quick peek of what one of my months filled out looks like. You can see there's a lot there. And um, this one is actually one that I've got things that are more reoccurring. There we go. Paydays in there, that's where my stickers come in. Um, you know, and a couple of other things, holidays, uh, you know, I've got an active couples group, uh, activity couples group, and I've got a luncheon that I do every second Wednesday. I've got a mom's group that I'll put in here every Thursday, um, stuff like that. So, but when someone's asking, you know, if um, I need to do something I, or if I want to do something with them, I usually put it in here first, and then I transfer it over to my week. So, um, I'm just going to give you guys some examples. I'm not going to show you one of my finished 
um, weeks just for, you know, I've got clients in here and stuff, so I'm not going to show you guys all of that. Well, here, I'll give you a super quick look at how busy it gets. Okay. <laughs> it gets crazy. So, um, but I put everything in here. I put, you know, ideas that I've gotten. Um, I put, you know, my checklists. I've got business goals over here and all kinds of stuff. So here's what I want you guys to do this week. Well, I want you guys, yes, I'll start with that. I want you to actually take some of the things that you had on your um, things that I want to do with my life, my time page that we did on the very first day. And I want you to start thinking about a plan. So I'm going to give you some examples of what that can look like. So one thing that I knew that was a plan, and this had to do with my health, was that I wanted to, I want to be someone who um, lives a healthy lifestyle. I want to not only enjoy myself in yoga, dance, I want to hike with my husband, um, but I also want to be someone who enjoys food, but isn't like, it's not my master. And, you know, that's been, this has been a long struggle of mine. I'm not asking for anyone to start selling me their MLMs. Please don't do that. <laughs> um, I have, this is something I've been working on for a while. I do work with a nutritionist and, you know, there's been little things that I've learned along the way. And one of the big struggles that I've had for years and years and years and years is eating late, like just grabbing junk snacks or whatever. Um, and so something that I have implemented, and actually I had to ask for help on this one um, from my husband, was I asked him if he could start making me tea in the evening, like an herbal tea with a little bit of honey. And um, I knew for myself that that was going to be a cue to my brain of, okay, we're not going to eat anything else after this. It's a time for me to start thinking about my evening routine, which is washing my face, brushing my teeth, getting my pajamas on and starting kind of that process, you know, getting the infuser set up and, um, you know, just really slowing down for the evening. And that has really helped, but that is something that, you know, um, he had to set a timer for. So that's something I utilize a lot as well. We both do is setting a timer. That's not necessarily in my planner, but is it, it is a part of my plan. And I knew I had to put something in place in order to make that work. For me, it was actually asking my husband, like, could you please do this? And he said, yes. And we set a timer. And so now he makes me that tea. Now that's kind of a funny example, but it is a big one for me, you know, so it may seem small and silly, but for me, it has made a huge difference. The other thing is making sure that I go to yoga. It's just in my um, planner. It's on my Tuesday and Thursday. It's in there and I don't really question it. I already made the decision that that's something I want to do. And so I go. <laughs> unless I'm sick, which I was last week. Um, for the most part, I really look forward to that time. I really enjoy it. Same with my tap dancing classes. I just have it in my calendar. I just write it down where it's supposed to go and I go. Um, some other plans that you may think through. I'm trying to think of what some of ours were. I meant to actually have it in here with me. Um, my husband and I actually wrote an overview of all the things that we wanted to do. Um, next. Like we didn't think five years necessarily. We just thought next. Um, so one thing that we did is we knew we wanted to get together with couples that we've said forever, like, Hey, we should do a couples date. We've got a few of those people and we just weren't doing it. And so we were like, you know, what if we just put together an activity couples group and we do stuff, we put it in this group, we uh, create an event every second Saturday of the week, for example, or of the month, for example, and, you know, whoever comes, great. That's who we're meant to hang out with. Nobody comes, cool. We go on a date, just you and I. <laughs> um, our hope was never to have too many couples show up, but hey, if it happened, the more the merrier, right? And so we have it in our calendar. We set the days. We knew, you know, okay, it's going to be the second Saturday of every month. And so that helps us, obviously, write out the dates. We put the dates in the group. And, you know, when people can come, they do. And when they can't, they don't. It's like, not a big deal, but we have that as a plan. Um, you know, 
there's lots of different things that you can set up, you know, building a business. If you, um, right now I have a book that I am putting out. In fact, hopefully if you're seeing this, you're a part of that book and signature self program, uh, which I'll put a link to in the bottom. I knew, you know, I had the book written. Um, I've been learning a few things that I need to put in there as I go. So it's been kind of fun. Uh, so those of you that are in it right now are kind of part of the beta book. <laughs> um, but uh, I know every week that I have stuff that I have to do with that, you know, putting just creating the book was a part of it. But each week I have things that I have to do like make these videos then I have to go into my MailChimp and I have to, um, you know, create the email that goes out. I have to make sure that I have all the PDF pages finished um, so I can put, attach those into the email. Um, and then I also have to edit this video because I actually take a lot of the live stuff out, like the, just the, oh, hey, I'm making sure we're live, you know, like <laughs> all of that kind of thing out of the video. So it's not, you know, this, raw video that my audience is getting. I cut that down. But all of that takes time. So I have to put that into my calendar um, in those business times that I showed you. Um, in fact, I'll show you again. I'm sorry, I got to get back to my em more empty one. <laughs> there we go. My actual empty one. And that that's where I put those in here because this is my business time. So I actually write that on in. Those are my checklists for the day of what I need to do. Um, you know, on the orange, I told you guys that's my ministry slash volunteer time. When I am in that, that's actually a meeting that I have once a week. Um, and so when I'm in that meeting, I'm actually sitting there writing down the list of things that I need to do for that week for that volunteer position. And I do it during that meeting. I'm not needed for everything for that meeting. So you know, I'm, I am paying attention, but I'm also getting some of that stuff done so that it's finished. Like that's my day to do that stuff. Um, and then, you know, there's other times, uh, that I do, but for my personal time, I've got that stuff in and the stuff that I'm doing in that time, I don't have my planner with me because I want to be present in that time. Sometimes I don't even have my phone with me, honestly, these days, because I do so much on my phone that I don't want to be tempted to like check my Facebook or social media. And actually I don't even do that much social media, believe it or not. I really don't. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's a personal preference that I don't do a whole lot of social media. Um, and so uh, my business is referral and invite only. And so that makes it easier for me not to do so much social media, but it's still a temptation. So I leave my phone home a lot of times during my personal time Saturdays it's almost impossible to get a hold of me unless you know my husband's contact info. <laughs> my kids know that and a lot of my friends know that. So they've learned to just get a hold of us both. Um, and so that's just something that I do. My creativity time that I have, I'm not doing business stuff during that time. And I'm very, very particular about what it is that I will do during that time. Um, so just really important to time block and then put stuff into those um, times where they fit. And especially if you're running a business, you work at home, um, stuff like that, it's so important to make sure that when you're home, you're home, you're not working. Um, I know that's kind of cliche, we've heard it over the years and some people are like, well, how do you really do that? Well, that's how you do that. <laughs> you make sure that you block out your time so you know when you're supposed to be doing things. Um, you know, for finances, my little fun with finances uh, payday game actually helps a lot. Um, that was something that I put into place because I needed something that just helped me to get my um, payday stuff done quickly. And so having that, it's basically a cheat sheet, but in game form, and then I give myself a star and a little prize at the end for doing it. Uh, which of course also is in the signature self. You can also find it on my Facebook on older posts. Go back and watch some of my older videos. You'll see them there. But um, that was part of the plan, the plan of our budget, which is to make sure that, you know, we have everything that we need to pay for um, and we have everything that we want to pay for all in our budget. And then I just execute that every single, it's basically every other week. 
And so that's what, um, what I put into place to help with that. I do block out the time for that. If I don't block out the time for that, oh, it just doesn't even happen. <laughs> and that's a Friday activity for me. Um, yeah, so all of that stuff, parenting, it's another one. Guys, you got to be intentional about that. And I was not perfect at that. There were so many things that I wanted to do with my kids and I spent a lot of time researching and looking and quite frankly, a lot of times they just would have been happy if I just would have done something with them um, instead of like worrying about, oh, we got to find this perfect thing to do and all that. They didn't care. They just wanted to spend time with me. Uh, make sure that you're planning for fun. You got to have stuff, time for fun in there. Otherwise, it doesn't happen. <laughs> um, and even meeting with people, coffee, things like that. I have coffee blocks in here, the times that I meet with people. Some of it's business and I have that specifically put into place so that I know like someone says, hey, I wanna do coffee with you. You know, um, I still have to say, hey, okay, let me check my planner. But I have a pretty good idea of when I can meet with people. So sometimes I try not to do it because inevitably I end up booking, double booking myself. Um, but <laughs> sometimes I can be like, okay, let's see, Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays are really bad. <laughs> Wednesdays and Fridays are my flexible days. Uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't put anybody in there like next Wednesday. All right. I'm pretty sure that I could do 1 p.m. next Wednesday. Like I do know my schedule well enough that I can do that. But I tell you what, <laughs> I just don't even like to do that. I like to have my planner. <laughs> and so I'll just tell people, hey, I'll let you know what days and times work for me. It's okay to say that, guys. So after this five-day challenge, after all of the tasks, the five days worth of tasks, today's task is actually putting things on the planner. And from here forward, making sure that you put that on your planner. Um, play with this, guys. Give yourself permission to experiment with it. See what works. See what doesn't work. And of course, feel free to get a hold of me if you're like, hey, I just need some help with this. I was trying this, it didn't work. I'm not sure what I should do. How do I make this work? That kind of a thing. Let me know. I'd love to help you with that. Um, but what I want you to feel after all of this is just a little more organized. Like this wasn't an in-depth how to do everything in your planner, time management type of a class of a challenge it was really just something to kind of get you thinking about where you want to be what you want to do and to corral all of your resources together to start to feel more organized so that you can move forward and go deeper so um if you have any questions um you know feel free to reach out to me and of course, I hope that you'll join me for the Signature Self book and program. All of these videos will have links to that <laughs> later. It won't be today um, since I'll be heading out to an appointment here really soon. But uh, they, will be get, they will be in there. It's really easy to join, totally free, not salesy. I hope you'll join us. All right, that's everything for the five-day challenge, guys. Thanks for joining me. And of course, reach out if you have any questions. All right, bye.